Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont. We are here in Montpelier at the State House for March for Our Lives. Parkland youth. We are here for everyone who's been affected by gun violence, whether it be through mass shootings, domestic abuse, suicide, gang violence, assault, a hate crime, police brutality, and interpersonal gun violence. It matters because I want to go to school and feel safe. We are here for common sense gun laws that keep people safe. We are here to support our youth who are fighting. This is a student-led rally, and around the world, hundreds of thousands of people are gathering. I think that Parkland students really just like set it off. I, I felt so empowered seeing yeah. other people my age were doing this, and it's like this is them all the time. yeah. They started a spark of people and youth all over the country. Generation Z, we're the powerful teams, and we can get work done. We just gotta keep working. On August 24th, 2006, my grand aunt Alicia Shanks was killed in a school shooting at Essex Elementary School. We can't look the other way any longer because gun violence is everywhere we look. 38 days ago in Parkland, they gave their lives just for going to school. High schoolers like me, shot dead fleeing. We shouldn't have to worry about being shot down in our classrooms. Closer to home, my fear peers in Fairhaven were slated to die. Who will be next? Do not underestimate the fear and the impact that this has on every child and every family in Vermont and the rest of America. I grew up on the border of Newtown, Connecticut, so I've been personally affected by a mass shooting and I've seen what it does to communities and people. I'd like to take a moment to point out that I turned 14 just a few days ago, which means that I haven't ever grown up in a world without Columbine. And I've watched in quiet trepidation as I've grown up and lived through over 187,000 school shootings since then. I looked out the window and there were cars and police in uniform. That's an assault rifle. At 11, they shot him. We heard the echoes of every one of those gunshots. A dangerously bigoted and hateful man had walked into a gay nightclub, armed to the teeth with semi-automatic weapons, slaughtered 49 people, and wounded 58 more. We shouldn't be seeing an average of 96 people in the US being gunned down daily and thinking that could have been me when I left my home. Just please remember, this black boy had a name. Tamir Rice, Michael Brown, Laquan McDonald. Time will not swallow our black boys. We can't let it. Gun violence is an epidemic plaguing this country, and us, the children, are caught in the crossfire. Just to see more and more youth come out and be inspired by other youth, it's, it's really great. I'm hoping to inspire the younger kids, the middle schoolers, the elementary school kids, so that one day they can come out and do even better work than what we accomplished. It makes me feel good that there's a lot of people like fighting. It was exciting to have people who in the public schools have said, enough is enough. You know, this just isn't right. We need to curb the gun laws in a reasonable fashion. Having been to many gun reform events over the years, not, there's never been anything like this that I've seen. It's their turn now. They've been targets. They've been hunted in their schools. They're afraid to walk into schools all over the country. And now we're going to stand here and say, what do you need? And we will fight with you and for you. Now, kids are stepping in where parents should have long ago. I wanted to, to support. 
support her in this, but also show her that even when you're a young kid, you have such a power. We're all teachers, four We're teachers. All. 30, 60, we've got a hundred and some odd years of teaching here. Back in the 70s and the 80s, I had kids bring knives and guns to school, leave them in my art room, and pick them up after school to go hunting. Nobody ever thought about what's happening today. Times have changed terribly in, in Vermont and the nation. If you want to arm our teachers, arm them with books and supplies. I feel personally afraid of all the firearms being circulated around the United States right now, and there are more firearms in the United States than actual citizens. Gun violence is growing more prevalent in every corner of America. Homes, theaters, places of worship, and these acts of violence are affecting children of color at an even higher rate than white children. When a black boy meets the boogeyman, the man dressed exactly how his mama said he would be, covered in blue with a star on his chest, gun drawn, aiming for him, trigger already pulled. It's not just about school shootings, it's about domestic violence, violence against women, violence against people of color, it's across the... Gun violence affects so many more people than just school yeah. shootings. Our president says he's going to make America great again. We believe he cannot make our America great again until he makes our kids safe again. And make it a priority to tell Governor Scott that you support all gun safety bills that arrive on his desk. I want to thank all of the Vermont politicians who did hear us and helped us push S-55 through the House. Our elected leaders are on notice. Stand with us or we will throw you out. But I hope we see real change when it comes to our legislation and gun control as a whole and not just thoughts and prayers anymore. I'm inspired every day. I look on social media, I see the work that other other youth is doing. I really just want people to know that they can make a difference. This is not just like the end. No, no it's just, just not this just a march, it's just the beginning. Like, we're, we're just getting started. Yeah. Our voices together are louder than the NRA and the politicians who take their money. We are not backing down. We are persisting. Continue making a positive change and don't ever let anyone take your voice away. We can hug a little tighter, we can love a little more. Laugh a little harder, we can stand up and roar. If we all come together, it will be all right. Stand up for one another and we'll never give up the fight. Together, we can end gun violence. Thank you so much. What you may not know is that I'm a survivor of gun violence, so this rally is personal to me. We'll get stuck in a with you again real soon. Yeah, I just want to make it clear, like, it's very easy to get involved. Yeah. It doesn't, you, you don't have to, like, if you don't want to march, yeah, you, you don't need to do a march. You sit at your computer, look up who your legislator is, like, your representative. Give them a call, send yeah. them a message. Like, it's, it's we easy. have sent so many mass emails to legislators, and it's, like, yeah. especially our generation, it's accessible. Like, go online and find a list of your representatives and talk to them. Yeah. They want to... Like, you need to be heard. Yeah, that's the beauty of democracy. Like, we have to yeah. be heard.